Hi, welcome again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom paint layer in open land so you can add a new texture and start painting your landscape. Okay, let's get started. First thing, so you need to set up open land in a way you can customize easily and also make it easy to update from the marketplace. So if you haven't done that yet, just check the description below and there's a video on how to do that. And also you need to have a text editor, something like VS Code. So it, it will work with any, any text editor, but I think uh, VS Code looks nice. So let's open our main uh, material. So here's what we're looking at. The reason why we can update quite easily because of the modular design of open land. So everything we're looking at is just connecting wires but all the functionality exists inside the material function for example here we have the custom to paint layer and connecting that to this layer blend so we are going to create something called custom 3 and simply connect that here let's find out where this custom 2 exists so go to open land directory and co materials and there's one called layers this is where the, all the custom stuff exit and here you can see there's a custom 2 so i'm going to open it so it will look like this. So you need to recreate this. But if you want to do by hand, that will take some time. It's possible, but there's an easy way to do that. So let's create a new material function for our new layer. So I'm going to right click and select material and textures and select material function. So I'm going to type ML OL custom three. And it's possible to give it any name you like but I, I like this one and also try to drag this to your version of open land inside the my open land directory so the reason is this is a completely new one so you can modify as you need it's not something inside the core all right and then let's open that right now so there's one thing so i'm gonna delete that not here we have the custom tool then i'm gonna select everything Control c to copy that now I'm coming to my text editor, in this case VS Code, and I'm going to type Control V to paste that. Here's what we're trying to do. Uh, let me show you in the material instance. If you look at here, we have custom 2. Here we are trying to like create something called 3.9 custom 3. So basically we need to rename everything with custom 2 into custom 3 and 3.8 into 3.9. Right? let's do that. So I'm going to search by typing Control F. I'm going to type custom Two. then I'm going to replace you can click this arrow icon I'm, I'm going to replace that with custom 3 and I'm going to hit this icon and it will replace everything then I'm going to copy this group 3.8 you can see here I'm going to put it here find I'm going to find that then I'm going to rename that into group 3.9 and I'm going to hit this button and it will rename everything so this is all we have to do in the text editor i'm gonna type Control a and select everything and Control c to copy that then i'm coming over to my new material function in this case custom 3 and i'm gonna paste it like this all right that's all we have to do and i just click save then you need to drag this click this custom 3 material function and drag that over to do the your version of main material then I need to create a new layer for that one, new paint layer. Just select this layer blend and click this plus icon and it will create a new one. So this is the newest one we created. And here, give it a name you like. Custom 3 would be fine. Here it should be a weight blend, but in your case, if that's the alpha blend, it's totally possible. Right, then all I have to do is just connect these two knots, right? Then save it. All right. That's all you had to do in the material. It will start some compilation process. Let's wait until that finishes. Then let's go to our modes and landscape section. And here, uh, let's find our layer custom tree layer and let's try to paint it. But if you look at here, we don't see any custom tree layer. Actually, that's uh, expected. So it's easy to fix. Just click your landscape from the world outline. Uh, simply click this uh, refresh icon and remove the landscape. All right, and then let's edit again. MI underscore my open line. So this is my the material instance. All right, then you can scroll here and now we have the custom tree. I'm going to click that, 
and I'm going to create a new layer info should be weight layer blended and you can put it in any way you like but try to keep it outside the core open land directory in in this case I'm going to create it on my open land and I'm going to just create a new folder called layer infos and I'm going to save that inside this directory then I can click on the layer and I can start painting of course it will looks like this because this is the default texture but you can easily change that and from your material instance simply search for custom 3 and then you can change anything you like all right this is it this is how you can create a new custom paint layer in open land so just like this custom tree you can create as many as custom paint layers you like and it's pretty easy to add even i said like as many as you want but there's a limitation with the number of texture sample inside the material there will be a limit at some point all right this is it see you soon with something interesting bye